Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So this video is a bit different and this is to all the African passport bros. When I talk about African passport bros, I'm talking about the men who are from Africa, who travel to the West, to the Americas, right? Who go back home to bring women back to America or Europe with the mindset that these women are going to be like you know, submissive, traditional. This guy came to share a couple of stories and his own analysis about the whole situation. So let's get into his video. Why are marriages breaking in America? Why are marriages in the African community, African marriages breaking? Why? When I talk about African marriages, I don't mean black Americans. Black Americans, they are not part of this topic. I'm talking about African migrants who migrated to America or in Europe. Why are their marriages having a high failure rate? Why? And this is my honest opinion and observation. So my first case study is recently about some few months ago here in Dallas, in Texas, there is this guy who brought the girlfriend from Cameroon. He's a Cameroonian guy. Him and the girl, they have two kids. They are not married. When he usually goes back to Africa, to Cameroon for vacation, they have two kids, but they are not yet married. So he decided to bring the girl to America so they could, I mean, they could work out life together. And the worst part is, the girl used a Mexico road. That means, you know how Mexico road they he spent a lot of money. The guy spent a lot of money. I can say approximately like 10 to 15 million fans to bring this girl to America. And behold, three weeks after this girl arrived, this girl had to run away from the house. This girl did not only leave the guy, this girl got this guy arrested after three weeks in America. This guy was arrested and jailed for two weeks and then later on released and this girl had to leave. You can imagine the trauma. And this is a trend. Recently again in Maryland, same situation. A guy sponsored a girl from Cameroon with a fiancé visa. That girl reached by the airport. The guy went to the airport to even pick up the girl. The guy could not even see the girl at the airport. They get jackpot instantly. They get disappeared for airport. It means that on different part, the man can pick the girl up for airport. So this is what I want to talk about. So marriages are failing. And the ones that are failing are the ones that one of the spouse is imported. When I say imported, it means one of the spouses is imported from Africa or from somewhere else and brought to America or to Europe. Those ones are failing because we think that the best girls or the best husbands are from Africa. No, there are good women in America. There are good men in America. There are good men in Europe. There are good women in Europe. Why do you have to go through all the stress to go and import someone from Africa to bring to Europe to marry? The chances are 50-50. 50-50 that the person you're bringing is going to be good to you. Because 90% of those spouses or those girlfriends or boyfriends you have in Africa, their main objective is to jackpot. They just want to leave Africa. So they're going to be good to you. Whatever you say, they're going to do it. They're going to be nice to you. You're going to see them as angels. And once they succeed reaching yeah, their destination, America or Europe, they will leave you. They will run away. And that is what is happening. The trend is wide now. The women are leaving the men. Men are leaving the women. It's happening. There are good women in America. There are good men in America. There are good women in Europe. There are good men in Europe. The angel you know beside you, the, sorry, the, the devil you know beside you is better than the angel far away. The devil you know beside you is better than the angel far away. Look for your own demon beside you. Buy your Tylenol. Look for your holy water. Be pouring it on them. Be drinking your Tylenol for headache. And you can have a peaceful life. If you bring from Africa, it's disastrous. I'm not saying that it doesn't work out. Some work out. But 90% of it is disastrous. 90% is disastrous. So look for, a, look, for a woman where, look for a woman where you are. Look for a husband where you are. Stop this trend of going to Africa to look for women and bringing them to America. My dear, you are just looking for a death wish. You are looking for a death wish. These women that are coming from Africa, these husbands that are coming from Africa, they just want to jackpot. Once they reach here, the mindset changes. And also, as a warning, don't think that men or women in America that they are good. Though. Some men, some women here have attitude problem. You, the woman that is coming from Africa or the man that has come from Africa, you may actually be the good person. But the, the, the demon you're going to meet in America 
you are going to meet a demon because the attitude is the mindset is when someone from africa from europe or from america brings someone from africa they think that they own that person you get the point so they want to control that person they want to monitor that person they want to detect to that person and most of the time it doesn't work because the person from africa when he or she starts learning his rights or her rights of freedom free speech and stuff like that the next thing is they're going to fight you they're going to fight you you can't detect to them because you bought them from you bought them from africa you can't do that and that is what is happening most of the times so it's usually not even the people the, the spouse from from africa is usually the, the spouse who is based in the in the abroad in the europe in the america that is a problem so please look for someone beside you get married to someone that you know that you people can see each other people can talk stop importing people from africa or from wherever to bring them to america and then you start complaining at the end that this person is bad this person is bad. you may even be the problem so share this video help someone let someone learn the lesson because a lot of marriages are breaking a lot of marriages are breaking and it's because of mistakes like this first things first i am happy that there's a man that is talking about it and he made a lot of um you know sensible points right so <laughs> the first point i have is um most of these men who go back home to bring women here have used other women who are already here as their come up, right? As their placeholders. They use these women to get rights to work and live here. They use these women for places to stay. They misuse their bodies and have children with some of them. They spend their money. They just mistreat these women here right and then they go back home to bring these supposed amazing women who are better than the women who are here who helped them with the mindset that these women are going to be traditional submissive and so on and so forth and see them as some some kind of like what's the word like bosses or something like that i don't know that's their mindset right and that's why they do that only for them to realize that karma is a b-i-t-c-h all right. Karma is a B-I-T-C-H. You used other women. You had children with them. You lied to them about your family back home. And then you went to bring that family, that said family here. And you expected that woman to, you know, still stay with you. Number two, most of these women who are back home, who you have the children with, who you started life with, do you think they are sitting there waiting for you? Think about it. Hmm? You think they are saints sitting there waiting for you to come and save them. Yes, they are waiting for you to save them so they can have a better life, but not with you. They are not planning to do it with you because they know that you have lived another life with other women while you were here without them. Because who was cooking for you? Who was cleaning for you? When you come home and you tell her, I can't wait for you to come and cook for me. I've been eating junk food. And do you think she's an idiot? Number three, most of you believe that the women back home are, you know, they are idiots. They don't know what's going on. They don't have mobile phones. They don't have TikTok. They don't have YouTube. They don't have Facebook. Most of these women, they know more than the women who are already here. All right. They are aware of why you want them, why you're bringing them here and so on and so forth. So don't act surprised when they come and they leave you. All right. Number four. Most of you are controlling because you brought them here. I think the guy said it already. Because you brought them here, you use that as a means to control them. All right. That i.e. I have stories of men asking their wives to give them the money at the end of the month after they've worked. They expect them to cook and clean and behave the way they used to be when they were back home, when they had a lot of help. If you've gone to a lot of African households, you realize that most people have help, right? But when they come here with these men, they don't have that kind of support. They don't have the family. They don't have the cousins. They don't have the little sisters who are in the house, brothers helping them out, right? And they are hit with the harsh reality that they still have to work. They still have to pay half of the bills. They still have to take care of their kids, cook and, you know, humble themselves under you. And then you end up abusing them right mistreating them because you brought them here you use that as a means to control them and abuse them and that's why most of them run away when they know the laws and they know their rights they're not going to allow you to walk all over them absolutely not okay especially when they have to pay half of the bills 
take care of the kids, take care of the home, cook and clean, you know. And then number five, most of you don't help these women. Even when they come here and they are happy to um, work, um, take care of the kids and be the way they were back home, you leave all the work onto them. You do 12-hour shifts. She also does 12-hour shifts. But you don't see her as a human being. You still expect the same treatment as if she was back home in Ghana. And she had a lot of help. Okay. So this creates a lot of conflicts in the marriages and the relationships because she will be asking you, I need you to help me. And then you'll be like, you're the woman, you're supposed to do it because that's the mindset of a lot of African men. Women are supposed to cook and clean and take care of their kids because that's what their mothers used to do effortlessly with five kids, six kids, 10 kids. But you're talking about a time, a point in time in your mother's life when she was back home and she had a lot of help and support. Okay, while over here, everything is different. We all work, we all contribute to the household. So why can't you pick up a mop? All right. Why can't you just put some rice in the rice cooker and cook rice for the kids? Why can't you bathe them when you wake up? Why can't you change diapers? Why can't you do this and that? Okay, simple, simple things that is going to help your relationship to flourish. You're too big for that. Your ego is too big, but you don't have the money to support the kind of lifestyle that you see yourself living. And that is the problem. I recently heard a story of a man whose wife was a registered nurse, right? And she was making twice twice as much as he was making over here in the uk right and this man because the woman was you know talking about help she wanted help uh, with cooking and cleaning and taking care of kids this man insisted that this woman stop working and stayed at home so she can take care of the kids so he will go and uh, uh, make the money and bring it home because he doesn't understand why his wife is expecting him to cook like how does he see him he's the man of the house and so on and so forth all right. The woman end up leaving him and he's there, you know, trying to pin this woman into this very bad person who he helped and all of a sudden out of nowhere because she's come here. She's been westernized and so on and so forth. She's left him. You want her to leave her career and you can't even provide for yourself and three kids. How is that? Make that make sense. You know, sometimes when you hear some of these African men talk, you would ask yourself if they went to school. Okay, some of them have PhDs, doctorate de degrees, and their mindset, hey, you will be surprised. The way they see women, the way they see the world, is, the way they see life is a very different thing compared to um how much education that they have, you know, gotten. Nothing changes. It's just a certificate and a degree to get them to get a, a, a job. But when it comes to home dynamics, mm -mm, they don't learn anything. Yes. So most of the women back home, they know the game. They are a million miles ahead of you, all right? They know what you want. They know what you are looking for. And most of them, they will pretend to be that kind of woman for you. They will put the, 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 the they will say something, made that, made that for mama. They will lie on the ground for you. They'll do whatever you want them to do just to get them over here. And the moment they get here, they'll show you their true characters because they are not idiots. But anyway, you can continue with your false narrative. It's up to you, okay? And keep saying, oh, all oh, these uh, African women, you bring them here, they change and, uh, and don't change your own mindset and don't evolve and don't, you know, learn anything from all the men that you've worked with, all the white people, all the black people you work with who have uh, good marriages. If you don't learn anything from them and you still want to stay in, you know, that kind of mindset when you were back home, please don't be surprised with the outcomes of your relationships and marriages and stop blaming the women. You have a part to play in this. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again with another video. Take care of yourselves. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Bye.